Hi guys, it's Evil Cake Genius here. Uh, we've had a lot of people say that they wanted to see a more detailed tutorial on how to use our acrylic stencils uh, because we have kind of a unique little way um, that we developed years ago um, after sheer desperation and um, having to uh, strip a cake of its fondant at 7 o'clock at night to over. Um, we came up with a really kind of cool technique for holding uh, stencils tightly on the cakes. So um, we're here to share it with you. It works with any acrylic stencil. Um, doesn't have to be an evil cake genius, but uh, why would you want to use any other stencil? These are cool stencils. This is a brand new one, um, and it's it's kind of neat. Um, it's a mix and match monogram set. We have some other ones. Suzanne Esper designed a few for us. Um, Julie Defense, we did some for her. Um, so there are other ones on the site that are lacy, but we just designed this one. And so these openings um, are made to hold letters. So you can put a two-letter monogram in there, which is kind of cool. And it comes with a full A to Z, uh, two sets of A to Z alphabets. So, um, so Emily can marry Ernie, and it's not a problem. So as always, what we do so that we're not sticking pins in the cake um, is we will tape a piece of parchment um, right onto our stencil. This is a normal masking tape, normal parchment paper. It's just going to hold it on so that we can stretch this around and then we'll trim it so it's not hiding the stencil um, and we'll tape it on the other side. And so we're going we're gonna to stencil this and we're going to airbrush it too. Um, so it's going to be metallic gold and we're going to use some of our new um, Edible art, edible goal. I'm going to cut a little bit off of. Hey, Robin! Hey, Virginia. Can you do an R for Robin and a V for Virginia? Sure, Virginia. Oh, yay! This is Virginia, everybody. Hang out with us sometimes. I'm the best! She's, she's the best. Okay, Virginia. Yay! It's a B for Virginia! And an R. And an R for Robin, because we love Robin! Okay, guys. Um, so, we're going to um, we're gonna tape these in. Uh, I like to use this really skinny masking tape. And I'm going to switch it around so it's not RV. I'm going to do VR. We're not trailer people. I live in a trailer! <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's lovely. Thank you, Robin! Okay, that's, you're welcome, Virginia. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You gotta make sure that none of the little gaps... Um, so none of these gaps show. Because otherwise we could get some airbrush color through there. That would be, it would kind of ruin our illusion of it being all one piece. We've got the letters taped in and our parchment so that we can pull this tight. But we're going to cut a piece of tool that is going to fit over and we'll... What's that fabric? <laughs> this is tool, Virginia. They make, they make wedding veils out of this. See? Oh my god, I'm a bride! <laughs> uh, but what we use it for is... Um, I'll show you in a second. Okay? Can you, okay. You can, be, you can be patient and I will show you in a minute why we use this. Okay, I'll try. Cool. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put this and tape it really tight with just masking tape. And that's all this is doing is holding it onto our cake so we don't have to put pins into our cake. Let's see. So we'll pull this really nice and tight. Put a little masking tape on here. It's fun to make cakes, Virginia. You know my grandpa loves cake! Sure he does, Virginia. So this is Tool. And you can get it at any craft store. And um, it comes on spools and is really easy to use. So what we want to do is, when we're popping these babies on here, um, this piece kind of flings out. You see that? It doesn't touch because we're curving the stencil. Oh. And maybe you can see it from the front camera. Um, this piece completely flings out and you can't it's not going to, the frosting is going to go right under that. And... Did you want me to get that for you? No, it's okay. We can leave it there. It's okay. Once this is tight, 
This is going to pull that piece nice and tight. Whoa! I know. Pretty smart, huh? That's a cake hack! That is a, that is a cake hack. That is definitely a cake hack, Virginia. Thank you. Yay! Hey, Virginia. Yeah? That's a puppy. <gasps> Puppies! I love puppies! So we're going to take the tool on here. And the key to this is it has to be really tight. If it's not tight, you're just gonna, it's just gonna make a mess. You're gonna just drag it all over the place and it's gonna bunch up and you're not gonna like me. But if it's nice and tight, it's gonna be the best thing you ever did with an acrylic stencil. You do need to use royal icing with these. Don't do this on any of our purple stencils. This only works, this is only necessary on traditional acrylic white stencils. I gave it a little extra dry time. Um, by, uh, by putting a tiny bit of piping gel, but it's still really thick. Like, this should not fall off your knife. This is the exact opposite of when we mesh stencil. This should be really nice and like marshmallow fluff kind of consistency. We're just gonna stencil over it like normal. Now we're really quickly going to airbrush this so that this doesn't have a chance to dry. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of plastic wrap over the top of the cake because I don't want the top of my cake to turn gold. All right, so now we're airbrushed. Take this off and we're going to take off the tool and then we're going to pop this off. It's a very pretty stencil. So there we go. That's our monogram. Good?